Welcome to the first video in this channel. In this part of our Python Basics tutorial, we're going to explore variables and arithmetic operations. It's time to dive into the world of numbers and calculations. Let's get started. Let's say we have letter A equals 5 and B equals 7. Let's have a variable C equals A plus B. If we use the if statements, using the relationship operator of less than, if C is less than 0, we will print no, and if C is more than 0, such as the case we have here, it will print yes. Next, in this part, we introduce different types of variables. Variable 1 is an integer, variable 2 is a float, and variable 3 is a string. We also convert variable 1 to a string using the str function and variable 2 to a float using the float function. We have a set of operations here to showcase the versatility of Python in handling arithmetic. Let's break them down. We start with multiplication, a equals to 2 times 3 dot next, we have division, b is the result of dividing 11 by 3. Moving on to exponentiation, c is 2 to the power of 3. Now, floor division, d is the floor division of 11 by 3. And the remainder after division, e, is the remainder when 11 is divided by 3. Now let me explain how floor division works. Normally when we divide 11 by 3, we get 3.6666, an irrational number. However, when we do a floor division, the output is just 3. Next, let us look at remainder division. Remainder division is where we divide 11 by 3, and the remainder will be the result. In this case, the division of 11 by 3 gives a remainder of 2, hence the output of the remainder division of 11 by 3 is 2. How about chained operations? f is the result of 45 divided by 15, then divided by 3 dot for a bit of a challenge, g demonstrates multiple remainder divisions, 19 modulo 7, then modulo 3. Order of operations matters h is 4 plus 3 times 5. Another example, i is 4 plus 3 squared. Let's throw in some parentheses. k is the floor division of the result of 6 minus 3 divided by 2 dot finally, l is 6 minus 3 divided by 2. Thanks for joining us today, and happy coding! Subscribe to the channel for more videos.